Former Eastern Cape Health MEC Sandiswa Gomba and 13 co-accused in the Mandela funeral fraud case have now appeared in the East London High Court again today. The 14 suspects pleading not guilty to fraud, money laundering and charges of corruption. The court setting aside three days for the accused to plead. Then there'll be another postponement until April. The group is in the spotlight in relation to the irregular procurement of service providers for the memorial service and funeral of former President Nelson Mandela. Well, our reporter Sipa Kemmer, she's been in court for us today. Sipa, good afternoon to you. Three days just for pleas and plea explanations. That's quite a long period of court time. Well, that is true, Stephen. I mean, the initial dates that were set aside for the thing was the 19th till the 21st of January. Of course, this is not the start of trial. This was just uh, a plea procedures uh, that went underway starting today. Now, you can imagine there were 14, there are 14 accused and 27 counts brought against them uh, individually. Each one has a different count, of course. Now, within those counts, there were also alternative counts that were brought forward, Stephen. So you can imagine... Uh, the time it took but of course day two is tomorrow at the b show court now what's happening there is the separation of trial application by accused number 10 mr fanu and his company which appears as accused number 11. that's what is happening tomorrow now if you remember uh, you know on the 5th of october which was the last time we were in court for this matter they had said that on the 25th of november is when that application will be heard but it will be heard tomorrow. Now, just quickly, Stephen, I am actually joined by NPA's Mtunzi Maga, and we're just going to quickly uh, talk to him about today. I mean, uh, we've seen postponements. That's all that we've been talking about when it comes to this court case. Now, <laughs> procedures have finally kicked off, starting with uh, the plea. Uh, just tell us what to expect. So, look, we are happy at least that finally we've gone through the preliminary stages of the trial which is a pre, which are pre proceedings and we can proceed now with leading of witnesses in terms of our evidence that we'll be presenting so what is going to happen now tomorrow accused number 10 and 11 are applying for separation of trials which we are going to oppose because we believe that there's no merit to that application and it's going to cause inconvenience and prejudice to our witnesses and our case and even other accused persons and as such we'll be opposing it it's not in the interest of the accused it's not in our interest it's not in the interest of justice that the trials be being separated all right now mr maga just uh, you know quickly we we, we spoke to uh, miss gomba earlier on who said that of course uh, these, she's been saying, of course, since the start of trial, that these allegations brought against her. She says, even looking at the charge sheet now, is that it's just, uh, you know, allegations of her in meetings, in certain meetings, but uh, that uh, the state does not have any concrete evidence against her. Of importance, as the NPA, is that we take decisions of prosecutions not lightly. We are informed by evidential material that is presented to us by law enforcement. Upon assessment of that evidence, we came to a conclusion that there is a prosecuted case against Ms. Gomba and the other accused persons, which we will be presenting during trial. We will leave that to the trial judge to decide, but as the prosecution were confident that we will secure convictions against all the accused in respect of all the 27 counts. Thank you so much, Mr. Maka. That's uh, NPA's Mtunzi Mag, of course, uh, so sounding really confident, saying that they are ensuring that they will get convictions for all 14 accused. Now, Stephen, of course, my question to him was actually going to be with the separation of trial. Can we expect any turning of any of the accused into state witness? But now he's mentioned that the state will be opposing that application to ensure that accused number 10 and 11 stay within this trial and they don't have a separate trial. Now, in the meanwhile, Gomba spoke to us and uh, she said, of course, looking at that witness list uh, that we were given, there are 54 witnesses uh, there, Stephen, and two of them happen to be very prominent uh, politicians, uh, of course, being former premiers themselves. Nokola Givit, who was the former premier, but now member of the National Assembly, and Mbulelo Sokoni, uh, who is at the office of the premier. Uh, they are one, two of those witnesses amongst the 54. But it seems as though there is also a key witness here, Andy Lelwani, who is a key witness uh, to this court trial. He is seen as witness number two. Now let's listen in to what Gomba thinks about the witness list that was brought forward today. 
I, I think I would want you to take note of the fact that the case has got about 14 accused. It does not necessarily suggest that if you are mentioning a particular person, that particular person is a witness against me. It doesn't necessarily mean that. Secondly, as we get to this stage, you must also understand that we do have some affidavits of what some witnesses are saying. There's not even one witness that speaks about me. I'm saying not even one that speaks about me. Because if I was in a meeting, I should be having alibis to say I was in that meeting. But equally, I do not want to get into any trap of analyzing witnesses in that list. Well, as you can hear, Stephen, years later, and the Gomba is still saying that she is innocent, that these charges brought against her are all trumped out. But for now, all we'll have to do is wait and see. Of course, the trial date, the official trial date, has been set for the 11th of April so that it can finish within one term. But tomorrow, we will be at the Bishop Court for the separation of trial application by accused number 10 and 11. Sipa came up. Thank you very much indeed for that incredibly comprehensive update. Know exactly where we are with that story. More developments in the next few days as well.